Okay, dear students, so we'll start with this. So in uh, the 35th question yesterday, we had completed a few of this, the second part of it. In C4 plants showing Kran's anatomy, which of the following is correct? Bundle sheet cells without grana and mesophyll cells with grana. So bundle sheet cells with grana, mesophyll cells without grana. Both are without grana, both are with grana. So it is similar to this question that we have already answered. So the presence of rudimentary chloroplasts in bundle sheet cells and typical chloroplasts with well-formed grana in mesophyll cells. Here itself, the answer is there. So it is going to be bundle sheet cells without grana and mesophyll cells with grana. So this is what is the answer for this 35th. Okay, so the 35th, the answer is A. 36th one, so in Blackman's law of limiting factors, the rate of photosynthesis continues to increase with the successive increase in the amount of, so you have to answer this part of it. The, uh, in Blackman's law of limiting factors, the rate of photosynthesis continues to increase with the successive increase in the amount of carbon dioxide, light, temperature, temperature, light carbon dioxide, light temperature carbon dioxide, light carbon dioxide temperature. So here you have to find out the successive increase in the amount. So it is like, uh, so if successive increase with the successive increase in the amount of first priority is carbon dioxide increase, second is light, third one is temperature. So the successive increase in the amounts of carbon dioxide, light temperature. So the rate of photosynthesis continues to increase only with the successive increase in the amount of first priority is carbon dioxide, second is light, third one is temperature. So 36th A is the answer. 37th, choose the correct statement. Okay, chlorophyll A is a blue-green pigment with formula C55H70O6N4MG. So chlorophyll A is a blue-green pigment with the formula C55H72O5N4MG. So this is the right answer. And remember this formula for it. They have even asked in CET. So this is the chlorophyll A structural formula. C55, C molecular formula, C55, H72O5, N4, magnesium. So this is the uh, formula for chlorophyll A. So try to mug it up because they have asked it in CET question also, they have asked this. So 37th is B. So the 38th question, Chlorophyll A is absent in which of the following photosynthesizing organisms? Bacteria, cyanobacteria, red algae, brown algae. So in which of this following photosynthesizing organism, chlorophyll A is absent? So bacteria does not have chlorophyll A. The photosynthesizing organism uh, a few of them are there, bacteria which can undergo photosynthesis. They do not have chlorophyll A. So 38th A is the answer. See, photorespiration uh, in C3 plants starts from, does it start from phosphoglycerate, phosphoglycolate, glycerate, or glycine? So photorespiration in C3 plants, they start from, It is phosphoglycolate, phosphoglycolate. See, they are going to form two compounds uh, whenever they are undergoing photorespiration. The Rubisco enzyme binds with oxygen and they are going to, the glucose is going to form two compounds that is phosphoglycolate and phosphoglycerate, a molecule of phosphoglycolate and a molecule of phosphoglycerate. So it starts from, photorespiration in C3 plant starts from phospho glycolate okay 40th one which one of the following is wrong in relation to photorespiration so it occurs in chloroplasts 
it occurs in daytime only it is a characteristic of c4 plants it is a characteristic of c3 plants okay which of the following is wrong in relation to uh, photorespiration so which is the wrong statement three statements are correct one is wrong so it is a characteristic photorespiration it is a characteristic of c4 plants is a wrong statement so 40th the answer is c whereas they occur in photorespiration occur in chloroplasts they occur during daytime only it is a characteristic of c4 c3 plants these are all right statement the wrong statement is photorespiration is a characteristic of c4 plant is a wrong statement in sugarcane plant carbon dioxide is fixed in malic acid in which the enzyme that fixes carbon dioxide is ribulose biphosphate carboxylase phosphoenol pyruvic acid carboxylase ribulose phosphate kinase fructose phosphatase which enzyme fixes the uh, carbon dioxide here primary carbon dioxide fixer in case of sugarcane plant what is the answer what is the answer for this see the answer is sugarcane is what plant it is c4 plant so what is the primary carbon dioxide acceptor in c4 plant pep carboxylase so phosphoenol pyruvic acid carboxylase enzyme fixes it with pep okay so b is the answer so 41st b is the answer phosphoenol pyruvic acid carboxylase okay Forty second, plants are removed from patient's room at night because they produce carbon dioxide at night in more concentration. They produce carbon dioxide all the time, but release oxygen also in daytime. They consume oxygen at night. They do not photosynthesize at all. Therefore, fail to deplete carbon dioxide of the room. Hence, their presence will increase carbon dioxide. This is a very good question again. Okay, so plants. Yes, see, plants are removed from patients' room at night because they produce carbon dioxide all the time, uh, but release oxygen only in daytime. Whenever they undergo photosynthesis, they release oxygen. Okay, so they produce carbon dioxide all the time, but they release oxygen also in daytime. Okay, that is the reason uh, plants are removed from patients' room at night because they produce carbon dioxide and they do not release oxygen during night who is that scientist who gave the law of limiting factors blackman blackman is correct answer okay blackman's law of limiting factors which of the following is correct for chlorophyll of cyanobacteria <clears throat> they are asking for chlorophyll of cyanobacteria so if it is chlorophyll a so uh, this is the c55 h75 o5 n4 mg so the 44 the answer is b is the answer c55 because chlorophyll a is present in cyanobacteria or blue green algae we had a previous question isn't it so cyanobacteria red algae brown algae they'll be having chlorophyll a the chlorophyll a formula is c55 h72 o5 n4 so 55 72 54 you remember it as o5 n4 uh, magnesium okay so that is the answer how many electrons are involved for the formation of one mole of glucose and six oxygen molecules how many electrons are involved okay so there you have to remember non-cyclic photophosphorylation how many electrons are involved for the formation of one mole of glucose okay one molecule of glucose and six oxygen molecules so the answer is going to be 12 electrons are involved for the formation of one mole of glucose and six oxygen molecules 
So 45th is B. 46th, the atmospheric carbon dioxide concentration of carbon dioxide at which photosynthesis reaches compensation point. The carbon dioxide compensation point is reached when the amount of carbon dioxide uptake is less than that generated through respiration because the level of carbon dioxide is atmosphere is more than that required for uh, carbon dioxide compensation point. See here, A is correct, but R is wrong. Compensation point is a point at which uh, the uh, carbon dioxide utilized in photosynthesis and carbon dioxide released in respiration are equal. So we call it as compensation point. But here they have given a, definite, a different definition for carbon dioxide compensation point, which is wrong. A is correct. The atmospheric carbon dioxide concentration of carbon dioxide at which photosynthesis is, uh, takes place is compensation point. Okay. Choose the correct statement. The C4 plants do not have Rubisco. So there are three wrong statements, one correct statement. We have to identify that. Carboxylation of RUBP leads to the formation of PGA and phosphoglycolate. This is wrong. C4 plants also have Rubisco enzyme in the uh, bundle sheet cells. Decarboxylation of C4 acid occurs in the mesophyll cells. In camp plants, Kelvin cycle occurs during night. So the 47th answer is C, the decarboxylation of C4 acid occurs in the mesophyll cells. Okay, decarboxylation takes place. Forty-eighth. Again, this was asked in the previous class. Peter Michel, chemiosmotic hypothesis, Blackman law of limiting factors. So four one. Okay, I think only one option is there. A is P four Q one R. Melville Daniel Arnon. So he has put forth this uh, photosynthetic phosphorylation. Yes, Melvin Kelvin. He has put forth. Uh, that is too dark reaction. Okay, mass flow hypothesis. There is nothing there. So this is the right answer. P. Peter Michel chemiosmotic hypothesis. Michel's chemiosmotic hypothesis. You can see Blackman's law of limiting factor. Arnon's photosynthetic phosphorylation. Kelvin's dark reaction. Okay. Match the following with correct combination. Carboxylation is brought about by which enzyme? So Rubisco enzyme brings about carboxylation. Phosphorylation, synthesis of uh, the ATP. Phosphorylation is ATP synthesis. Photolysis of water, oxygen evolution. So P4. No, P3, so there is only one choice, P3, Q5, R1, R1, phosphoglycolate, photorespiration, nitrosomonas is going to be chemosynthesis, T4. So this is the right choice. So during photosynthesis, plants, absorb oxygen, release carbon dioxide, release absor oxygen, absorb carbon dioxide, absorb nitrogen, release oxygen, absorb nitrogen and release ammonia. So during photosynthesis, plants release oxygen, they absorb carbon dioxide. So let us remember that they release oxygen, 50th one, okay, and absorb carbon dioxide. A plant with low carbon dioxide compensation point is, this is not there in your syllabus part of it, NCRT, uh, but in NEET they might ask you, so you should be remembering the uh, answer for it. A plant with low carbon dioxide 
compensation point is A triple X patula, the point, plant with very low carbon dioxide compensation point is A triple X patula. Rubisco is an enzyme for carbon dioxide fixation in dark reaction, photorespiration, regeneration of RUBP, photolysis of water. So 50 second A is the answer. Rubisco is an enzyme for carbon dioxide fixation in dark reaction. 53rd, photosynthesis in C4 plants is relatively less limited by atmospheric carbon dioxide levels because four carbon, carbon assets are the primary initial carbon dioxide fixation production. The primary fixation of carbon dioxide is mediated via PEP carboxylase, effective pumping of carbon dioxide into bundle sheet cells. Rubisco in C4 plants have higher affinity for carbon dioxide. So which is the answer for this? C4 plants is re relatively less limited by atmospheric carbon dioxide. So the third point is the, the 53rd. The answer is the primary fixation of carbon dioxide is mediated via PEP carboxylase. Okay, that is the reason uh, carbon dioxide level is not limited in C4 plants because PEP carboxylase fixes the carbon dioxide. Stomata of Crassulacean acid metabolic plants, CAM plants we call it as, are always open, open during the day and close at night, open during the night and close during the day. So they are CAM plants, we always call them as like call center employees they are. Crassulacean acid metabolic plants in which they have a stoma open during the night and close during the day. So uh, 54th stomata of camp plants, they open during the night and close during the day. 54th, the answer is C. 55th, the Kelvin cycle proceeds in three stages, reduction, during which carbohydrate is formed at the expense of the photochemically made ATP and NADPH. Uh, regeneration, during which the carbon dioxide acceptor ribulose 1,5 biphosphate is formed. So here you should remember carboxylation, reduction, regeneration. So three, one, two. So A is the answer. This is the right sequence of choices. Carboxylation, reduction, and regeneration. So they are the sequential steps under conditions of high light intensity and limited carbon dioxide supply. So photorespiration has a useful role in protecting the plants from photooxidative damage. The reason is if enough carbon dioxide is not available to utilize um, light energy for carboxylation to proceed, the excess energy may not cause, may not cause damage to plants. So the 56, the answer is both A and R are false statements. 56, uh, assertion statement is also wrong and reason statement is also wrong. Photosynthetically, C4 plants are less efficient than C3 plants. Okay, photosynthetically are less efficient than C3 plants. So that is a wrong statement first itself. The operation of C4 pathway requires the involvement of only bundle sheet cells. So even here, D is the answer. Both A and R are false. Okay, so 57th, D is the answer. 58th. One of the following is electron donor to P680 during light reaction of photosynthesis. The answer is water because water undergoes photolysis of water and electrons are released. And these electrons compensate the loss of electrons uh, from P680 or P680 is photosystem two. Photosystem one is 700, photosystem two is 680. So pigment system two or photosystem two. So photolysis of water, they provide electrons for P680. 
p680 so 58 d is the answer okay we'll complete uh, say maybe uh, this sheet of it so the requirement 59 the requirement of assimilatory power to fix uh, six molecules of carbon dioxide is so we had discussed it in the yesterday's class d is the answer 18 atp they require and 12 nadph2 to, to fix six molecules of carbon dioxide photorespiration and photosynthesis both require organic fuel chlorophyll chlorophyll cytochromes energy photorespiration and photosynthesis both of them they require which of them 60th the answer is they both require cytochromes okay the chemical structure of chlorophyll a varies from chlorophyll b due to difference between so this is very important question because we have not studied it in the syllabus also so 61st the c so they differ in the structure of chlorophyll a varies from chlorophyll b due to difference between ch3 and cho the aldehyde group CH3 methyl and aldehyde group they differ from. 62nd, choose the correct combination of labeling the carbohydrate molecule involved in the Kelvin cycle. A, what is the carbohydrate molecule involved here? Yes, it is RUBP, then carboxylation. So they are going to form, uh, there, here it would be 3PGA. So RUBP, B is phosphoglyceraldehyde or 3PGA uh, A is RUBP B has to be uh, PGA not PGAL there is a typographical error C is triose phosphate so D is the answer for it so but B you should remember it as PGA don't write it as L okay so PGA, so the answer is D. 62nd, the answer is D. So here, it, you know that ribulose biphosphate, the first compound would be 3-phosphoglyceric acid, triose phosphate. Okay. Chlorophyll molecules absorb light energy of wavelength. So what ranges they are going to absorb? So the uh, light energy of wavelength, 63rd. The answer is sixty third. The answer is A, three hundred to four hundred nanometer. So they are going to absorb chlorophyll molecules absorbs light energy of wavelength three hundred to four hundred nanometer. Okay. The reduction of ADP to ATP occurs by okay oxidation of water high concentration of hydrogen ions across the membrane okay oxidation of uh, nadph or is it release of electrons from photosystem 2 to photosystem 1 so 64 the answer is b is the answer so high concentration of hydrogen ions across the membrane is uh, leads to the reduction of adp2 ATP. 65th, the process of ATP formation from ADP in the presence of light in chloroplasts is called as C photophosphorylation. So 65th C is the answer. 66th, photolysis of uh, each water molecule in light reaction. 66, each water molecule in light reaction will yield. So they are going to yield two electrons and two protons. Okay, so this two electrons are taken up to the photosystem two, and this two protons are taken up for the reduction of NADP plus. Okay, so two electrons and two protons. Each water molecule in light reaction will yield two electrons and two protons. So the enzyme pair common to C3 plants and Emden mayor of Paranus pathway is cytochrome oxidase and enolase, aldolase and triophosphate isomerase, aldolase and enolase, phosphoglyceromutase and triose phosphate isomerase. So which is the enzyme pair which is 
common to C3 plants and glycolysis? So the 67th, the answer is B, aldolase and triose phosphate isomerase. So this is a common enzyme pair which is seen both in C3 and uh, respiration glycolysis process. So this is the aldolase and triphosphate isomerase. I think that would be sufficient for your today's class. Any doubts you have with this, dear students? Any doubts or any 